In this video, we're going to talk about sustainability and resilience. Now, sustainability is good. It's good to have sustainable business practices, a business model that can sustain itself into the future. What about something called resilience? Explain what that means. Sustainability deals with intergenerational equity, managing resources in a way that allows consumption to continue on into the future. Resilience, however, refers to the capacity to absorb disturbances while still maintaining the same structure, function, and arrangement. There's also the idea of system resilience, that some of the systems we create, for example, electrical or transportation system or economic systems, can be resilient to shocks. They can absorb shocks and respond, even things that they're not prepared for, and still maintain themselves as a system. Sounds confusing? Let me explain with a couple examples. The New York subway system. New York is one of the most sustainable cities in the world because of the low carbon footprint. People use public transportation predominantly. So there's not a lot of single vehicle trips compared to other jurisdictions, especially when you get out into suburban and rural areas. Very sustainable. However, is it resilient? 2012, Hurricane Sandy devastated the region and flooded the subway system. The subway system could not be used. Then what? Well, there wasn't really a redundancy. There wasn't really something else that could be done. The system could not respond to this shock. People were forced to try and get around through a, a patchwork system of buses and walking and other ways of getting around. The system could not sustain itself in the midst of this shock and disturbance. So is it a sustainable system? You bet it is manages resources effectively and reduces, in, in this case, CO2 emissions compared to other jurisdictions, but it's not resilient. It was not able to absorb this disturbance while still remain, maintaining its function, and the whole system was not capable of responding to shocks like this. It was re They were really scrambling officials in New York to try and figure out ways to move people around in the absence of their subway system. Now, a slightly different example. Texas. The state of Texas had a huge winter storm in 2021. A lot more snow than they used to get and a really sustained period of low temperatures that the region is not used to getting. It caused electrical blackouts throughout many parts of the state. So people were without electricity um, for days. Now, when we think about the Texas power grid, it's actually pretty diversified. They get some from natural gas baseload generation from natural gas, some nuclear and coal as well that can be a coal, for example, can be scaled and wind, almost a quarter from wind power. So if one of these experienced a disruption, like maybe high prices or supply issues, the other inputs could adjust. It's something that can deal with one of these inputs getting interrupted. So supply scarcity or, pr or price shocks. However, the actual infrastructure for moving it around could not cope with cold temperatures. The instruments that were used at the sort of uh, refining stage, getting oil to refineries to process into natural gas, the instruments were completely frozen. They shut down. Much of the above ground transportation infrastructure was frozen as well. Generally, the power lines and distribution was not winterized, whereas it could have been uh, because places in northern climates, like, like in, in Canada or in, in the northern United States, they are able to function in cold temperatures. It was just a matter of not having a grid that could handle these, these temperature shocks. So when we look at this in our sustainability versus resilience framework, was it sustainable? Sure, lots of different renewable power sources in there. Was it resilient? You bet it was. Those different power sources could, could easily withstand different shocks in prices or supply. However, the system was not resilient. The system could not cope with a sudden change in temperature because of the failure to winterize much of the key infrastructure. So just to recap, sustainability, it's good, obviously, but any system, whether it be economic, transportation, social, needs to be resilient. It needs to be able to maintain itself in the midst of disruptions and shocks.